Good morning, adventurers. We're about to head off on our trip to Death Mountain. Death Mountain. <laughs> Death Mountain. And uh, yeah, see if we can get stuck this year. A few bo muddy bog holes at the bottom will be interesting. I think the hill climb be all right, to be honest. But we've got knobby tires this time. A bit more experienced on our in our bikes. This thing will certainly have no problem. I doubt that'll have a problem. And you know, you never know. The giant 1190. We'll see how it goes. See you on the road. Am I recording? <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what a start! <laughs> oh, Mark. What happened? I reckon Tom would be liking this road on the 250. Oh, these are some pretty serious, um, whatever you call them, washout, the runoff drains. <laughs> nice. The glorious Mount Buffalo. Looks bloody shit odd, doesn't it, the backside of Buffalo? It's probably not that many people even see this side of Buffalo because all the highways and everything are on the other side. Um, this side is very steep uh, and then just backs onto you know, these mountain ranges. Okay, now commences the fun part. Well, looks like all our big bog holes are uh, not a problem. <laughs> Mark says, I can't believe I rode the Hornet down here. <laughs> and, and, and keeping in mind it's dry this time. Last time it was, it was really wet. <laughs> That's your favorite paddle. Yeah. <laughs> that hasn't gotten any better than it was. No, it's just dried out a bit. Yeah, last time we went, had to go through this because we couldn't see anything. And uh, Mark had dropped in off the side. <laughs> Do you remember that awesome, was just such an awesome photo. Uh, I loved it. Hence why I'm back here. Yes, it was a struggle. Yes, we got into a bit of trouble. But what a memory. I, th I think we'll do the whole thing pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, yes. I just keep telling myself that, okay? Don't hold it against me. <laughs> positive, think positive. I was talking to someone the other day who was saying, oh, you know, when I, when I get a bit nervous on the bike about a particular, oop, a particular difficult patch, turns his um, headphones on. 
you know, and put on some sort of high energy music, some metal or some whatever, and uh, you know, it takes his mind off the, it distracts the parts of the brain that are making you overthink things. Oh, that's a great strategy. Um, yeah, and, and I guess my strategy has just been to keep saying to myself, think positive, think positive, think positive. And what's the worst that can happen? Well, I can fall over, you know. Um, when I bought this bike, as you'd be well aware, I'd said, well, if it falls over, it falls over. I'm not, I don't care. Because that's what I've got it for, to take on adventures. Whee! That log wasn't there last time. A few more ruts. Of course, knowing where the track goes and roughly what obstacles are ahead are, is a big advantage too, because this hill, I mean, I absolutely crawled down it last time, but in fact, I know that there's a bit of a runoff at the bottom, so. So I can actually attack it with a little bit more. Although it's still pretty bloody rough. one. Okay, this is the uh, vertical drop-off that we didn't want to get up last time, that we actually wheeled our bikes down. Oh, he stole it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> from that handle. Ready? <coughs> Thank you. I got, it got, the front end got up and I went, if I stop now I'm not getting up, so I kept it on. <laughs> it did one of those backwards loop things, yeah. See the front went up here. Whew. Oh, scratch my sticker. It'll buff out. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. There you go.
shit. Okay, well. Here is the, uh, where it starts getting tough, I think. Okay, that was the semi-tough bit. Can always come back down. Ah! <sighs> oh well, I guess it has started. <laughs> yeah, it looks like some big steps there. So you believe us now, Tom? Yeah, pretty steep. <laughs> so it just keeps going for a uh, fair way, yeah. Whew. Can you turn your headlight off? Shit. Uh. Okay, guys, well. I admit defeat, that's a freaking hard hill. <laughs> Push that up there, I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> and my battery's dead, so yeah. I'm gonna start my bike. Tom's battery's uh, seems to have packed it in after so many restarts. So we thought we'd see if we, how we go with marks. Man, that's hard work, pulling it up there. It just uh, keeps wheel standing off every little rock ledge. We figure maybe it's more dangerous than fun, so you turn, we're going back. Go and get some real bikes. <laughs> Come up here on some EXCs or something. You could do that. Even then, you'd have to have momentum. Yeah, true. Even on the EXC, you'd have to be a pretty good rider, we think. We saw some other dirt bikes down the hill, they didn't come up here. They said, too tough. We said, we'll be right. Okay, keep coming down, Mark. I'm watching your turning style. Oh, it's on the bash plate. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's actually both wheels coming off the ground. Had to fall down a hill. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> you gotta get... <laughs> it's actually steep enough that when you get grip, um, the... Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I don't mean to laugh. <laughs> uh, 
Where are you going, Tom? In the bush. Oh, there goes Tom. There you go. That's how steep it is. We can't even roll down here. It's like a staircase. It really is. I don't even know how the hell we got up here, even in four hours, how we got up here with road tyres and a road bike. Whew. You'll have to, oh shit, it's the back's, hang on, I'll help. Well, there you go, it's uh, the, the hill remains to keep us defeated. I'm going to blame everyone else, I'm going to say that uh, those guys came unprepared. Tom with a dodgy battery, uh, bald tyres, Mark with, um, well, I don't know, what did he say was a problem? None! No problem! Anyway, it's bloody hard work. When you got stuff like this rock face, have a look at this. That is... Uh, I wonder if I can get down parallel to it. Anyway, just trust me, it's bloody steep. Woo! Okay. Well, we've been defeated. <laughs> I think uh, Tom probably underestimated it a bit. Mark was having negative thoughts. <laughs> and both run out of fitness. Uh, I was hoping to keep pulling for a while. But was not to be still going to be some challenges on the way back fuck did it again <laughs> no problem. I think there's enough traction up there. That's the problem with that other hill. It's the amount of loose rocks it was the absolute killer. Oh, this is all smooth sailing from here on. Uh, we can relax and enjoy ourselves. <laughs> what the hell? A bit soft. Yeah. What do you want? Front wheel drive?
know, I think I've heard people ask before, and I'm pretty sure I've said it before, and other people have said it, but every now and again the question comes up, it's like, well, what are these jumps? Are they just made for motorbikes? <laughs> well, no, they're erosion control mounds, so the water, when it rains, starts running down the road, hits these, diverts off into the bush again. Because if it keeps running down the road, it will gouge out a huge, uh, a huge rut. So, uh, yes, that's what they're for. And they're just a mild inconvenience for vehicles. Great fun for dirt bikes. Hey! Well, guess what? Hill. Couldn't do it. Do it. No. Nah. Him on his 250 goes, I'm giving up first. That other, time. that other time, I'm amazed. I'm amazed because now I've seen it, that's freaking hard. That's as hard as any hill I've done at Eildon and shit, for sure. Yeah, it's shit. Oh, sure. I, don't, I would even, I don't know if the Jeep would get up there. Probably. If you don't know, if it's a standard forward drive. Yeah, mine, I don't have lockers and shit, so I might spin up one and I'd have to roll back and... What? Off you go, do what? it again, Nerv. What? No, no, what? No, I didn't say anything. How many times did you crash just getting to the hill? <laughs> there were numerous crashes. He, he cr <laughs> I came up this side, he's gone up one side, and his bike's like four metres on the other side. You bloody, bloody whip around or some shit. <laughs> like doing those jumps down that freaking buggery track. Yep. Like, that was so much both fun. suspension was botting him out, back and front, just gunk, hitting the mudguard on the tyre every time I hit that jump. Actually, it'll be interesting how your bike goes on those. Yeah, how's it take jumps? Have you launched? For fuck's sake, I've been like three times off-road with it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get airborne today. You're gonna get airborne. Fuck, I will. You'll do it by accident, you watch. And then you go, that's cool. I'll go a little faster. Uh, I'll wait for you to see how much air you'll get in here. Just roll it over. Go. Don't break it. Don't break it. Yeah. I was worried about <laughs> my shock bolts. Sick of breaking it. Sick yeah, of breaking it. <laughs> uh.